Hey guys, Noel Murray here. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, bunt in baseball. So if you're new to baseball, this is actually a pretty good video for you guys to watch. So yeah, so let's just get started. So you guys probably know uh, in baseball how to swing, so you just stand. Just hit like that, you know, normal stuff. That's how to normal swing, but if you want to make like a runner advance, or you just want to make a runner like a bant or something like that, really bad, it's an important run or something, doesn't really matter. Or if you're a fast runner, well this is for you. you get here, I'm a, right, I'm a lefty, so I'm going to be doing lefty stuff. So say I was Ryan Goins, Toronto Blue Jays. So this is how he stands, like this. So I'll be ready. And when I place it down, I have to go like this and charge at the ball. So instead of just like, you know, letting the ball just go into my bat, I would push it myself. Like, bang. Like so. But don't go full on swim. Just go a little push, a little push. But that's how you do it. You hold a couple fingers or something like this. At top, at the bottom, how you normally would. Then when you're in, you're going to transport to normal stand. To normal stands, you're going to transport from normal stands to basically like feet like this, fingers right here, on the side, the bunt. Um, um, when you, the parts in a ball game that you should, uh, bunt is, uh, when, uh, say you got a runner on second or first base, and... There's a, uh, say, um, one or no outs. Never bunt with two outs. Unless you're a fast runner and you think you can run it out. It's okay, I guess, but I'm not the boss of that. But I recommend not to. But if it, say you got a man on second or first, and he needs to advance if you're down in the game or something, or you just really want to get the run, you would bunt in that situation. So, but another trick. Ten, don't just stay like this the whole time. Pretend that you're not going to bunt, but at the last second, just go. And just go, you know, just stop it. You know, just do a little stop. When you should bunt back to that, um, this is when you should bunt. Like, like I just said. But, um, when you bunt, you don't just, don't just have your ball set. Don't just have your ball here and just randomly do it. You basically have to figure out a direction you want to do it in. So say, um, the, the, whatever you call them, the switch or, I forget what they're called though, but, the squeeze one, um, say, um, that, switches on when all the players would swoosh out to the other side of the field. Say if they I was elected. Obviously they won't do it on my side, on this side right here. They would do it on this side just saying. If I would bunt, I would try to bunt that side. So basically but just don't just bunt or just go on this side. There's no people on that side or Advantage, you will get that runner or someone in, or you will be safe. Do this side. So they're really, that's really good tips for how to bunt. And if you follow these, you can be a very good bunter. And also, if you're a very fast runner, do a lot of bunts. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. This is how you bunt in baseball. So hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys. Next time, no more. Peace out.